I have spina bifida myeloma meningocele. I have the most, as you could say, debilitating form. It's an invisible disorder. Spina bifida is a physical disorder that happens at birth where um, you are in your, your mother's womb and you are not fully developed, so your spine is open to amniotic fluid, and then that gets in your system, and it can disrupt the connection between neurological pathways. So it could paralyze you from the neck down, basically. A lot of people don't think that I have it, because a lot of the people with it, uh, with spina bifida, myelomeningocele, are um, they have feeding tubes, they have breathing tubes, they can't talk, they have trachs, they're in wheelchairs, they have leg braces. When I was younger, I had to use a walker because my legs weren't strong enough, so I had to really compensate on my upper body, and, that, and I still do. The only thing that really has affected me through this whole entire journey is that mental barrier of fitting into my standards, but also fitting in to be accepted by society. Showing people, mainly with spina bifida, that it is okay to be different, um, and that you will be accepted. It's okay to be different, but not to be treated as though you're different. And I am living proof of that. It definitely does change my outlook on life. My life is, you know, portrayed through the miracle that has happened to me and that I've been blessed with.